Welcome to Keep Me Posted with Planet A. And today we are so honored to be able to have our own in studio with us. We have Lauren Bailey, Planet A's new development manager. And she's joining us today on Keep Me Posted just to tell us a little bit about what she's been doing. She's been out and about in the community, also visiting businesses, also um, lots of uh, community like community association meetings, all kinds of things. And it's all in the purpose of developing new ways to spread the good news about our organization, Planet Aid. So, and it's also to let us know um, that there is a new way of donating. So we're just going to get into this. Lauren, welcome to Keep Me Posted with Planet Aid. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. I've heard great things so far. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. That's always good to know. So, Lauren, what is, tell us a little bit about your role at Planet Aid and what you do. Okay. So, my role um, as the business development manager is basically to create relationships with different city communities, real estate companies, basically anyone who can help us further promote our message mm -hmm. and help us place these collection models throughout the territories that we work in. So um, also sometimes I create presentations, I set up meetings, a lot of what you already said, <laughs> attend events, just to raise awareness and again, further promote all the good that we're doing. Okay. so. Lauren, you, like you said, like we both said, you've been attending all these meetings and all that. Um, so what is the purpose of this? Why, why are you doing that? I know that it has something to do with our new way of donating, which would be um, the donation center. So can you tell us a little bit about what they are, first of all? And um, you can also tell us, you know, who are they beneficial to and why are they beneficial? Absolutely. Um, so we're very excited because this year we unveiled our new donation centers and they were specifically created to collect more pounds of clothing and also appeal to major shopping centers, which is one area we haven't really been able to break into thus far. Um, we do have some bins in bigger shopping centers, but it's rare. Um, because a lot of these bigger companies sometimes have many restrictions associated with bins, but creating this new model, making it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye, making it a little more um, environmentally friendly, we've been able to break through that market slowly, but surely. And the beauty with the model is that unlike the bins, which we still love and we love to promote, <laughs> These are able to hold up to 5,000 pounds of clothing versus wow. about 400 to 500 pounds with the smaller bins. Okay, that's a big difference. <laughs> yes. Which means we have we can service them less. Um, it's more cost efficient on the drivers, um, keeps it even more eco-friendly. And the other beauty of it is that they are monitored by an attendant and we also have surveillance cameras. So we're able to tell definitively when it's full inside and if there's anything on the exterior, which is a game changer because for some of these huge companies that are investing multi-million dollars into these shopping centers, they don't want to have to worry about anything on the exterior. So we take care of that for them with the attendant and with the surveillance. So that's kind of really helped us break through to some of these com companies who have been reluctant to work with us in the past. And you actually just came back from New York um, doing some of that good work of yes. spreading the news. So how was that? It was great. So um, what Monica is referring to mm -hmm. is the ICSC convention. Um, and forgive me, they've changed the name, so I don't know exactly <laughs> what it stands for at the moment, but it's basically- we'll, we'll put it up there. <laughs> yes, integrating commerce, um, integrating commerce, expanding community, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. It's basically a huge convention where anybody in the real commercial real estate world who owns shopping centers or retail come together and make deals. Okay. So we've attended three of these thus far. We started in Vegas, then um, in May, and then went to the Mid-Atlantic one in September. And it's been a completely different ball game from the first one to now. Wow. I actually went alone to the first one and we went with six people to New York recently. Oh my goodness. And when I tell you the seeds that we've planted have really come to fruition after this third one, 
it's been so meaningful and so exciting for us because um, it can be a little bit overwhelming being around all these huge companies as an environmental nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And we slowly but surely learned how to talk to them, how to make marketing materials that will best approach these big guys. And at the last one, we had 25 meetings. So that was very exciting. And we had our first booth. Um, we were exhibitors there. And it really just showed us um, how putting our faces in front of their faces and actually taking the time to meet and show them our mission, what we're about, that we've been operating for 25 years, it just really went a long way. And we're now almost overwhelmed by the amount of uh, opportunities that are coming. So we're very excited for this next year. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that vibe that's yeah. going on at the uh, at the um, the different conferences. I mean, you said that there's like more of a buzz now. Right? Yes, absolutely. So a lot of these companies are familiar with the bin concepts and all the different companies that are out there that are doing similar collection work. Now, being that we are one of very few nonprofits who has a mission, who donates much of our efforts to so many wonderful um, organizations all over the world, it was really great because these companies could now put a face to the name, like I said, but also see all of the pictures associated with the groups that we're working with, the organizations that we're helping. And I think that that really dramatically changed the game for them because they saw that we are in it for the right reasons. We're doing it to genuinely help people and help the planet. And I think that so many of these other groups, while I will not talk bad, they also do wonderful and great things. Um, I think that we really go the extra mile with the way that we monitor and maintain these as we have for 25 years. And I think they could see the passion and purpose behind what we're doing. So I think that that really was the biggest game changer again when we were there was I can't tell you how many people were like why haven't we worked with you or why haven't we heard of you and so this new department means so much to me because we're really getting it out there who we are and why we do what we do and why you should work with us because we're the real deal and the good guys and yeah very good Okay, so some of the donation centers have already been rolled out to different locations. Yes. What has been the general response to that? So they're doing very well. There's one that's in um, a less populated area that isn't generating as much as the others, but so far what we've noticed is, for the most part, we've had no issues with trash on the exterior. And I don't know if it's because it's larger, it has very professional signage, there are surveillance cameras so people don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> But so far, we have had no issues with trash. We've had no calls from any of our um, landlords. And we even had a company at ICSC say that they pass by one every day to work. And they want to work with us because they noticed that there's never been anything on the outside. So we were like, yeah. Good, good. And the other great thing is um, for... For our purposes, we're able to collect, like I said, so much more, and it's sustaining the rates that we're able to pay these guys. So the more that we're able to collect, the better rates we can propose, but it also means that people are getting used to them. And because they're larger, I think that it attracts customers a little bit more than the bins being that they're a little bit smaller. You can't miss this thing. <laughs> and so for that reason alone, I think that we're going to be very successful placing more of these this year. Hopeful. Okay. So we talked about the fact that it's it's usually it's businesses yes. and it's it's shopping centers yes is there anybody else that can fall into the realm of of these donation centers absolutely so really we we want to place these donation centers anywhere that's highly trafficked um that has a busy city kind of on the exterior so um, anywhere outside of major cities in major cities that have a safe place for people to stop that won't have drop traffic, obviously right. traffic right. flow and drop off their items. So while the big shopping centers are ideal because they have a lot of the anchor stores that bring people in rather frequently, again, any area in a major city where there's a safe place to drop one of these off that's approved by a different city administrator right. could also work. And it is another thing that we're working on. Once we've tackled the commercial real estate companies, we're really trying to go into the cities as well to offer a sustainable solution for a lot of the issues that a lot of the cities are already dealing with. Yeah. They don't know what to do with the excess mm -hmm. textiles, 
either. So and we're happy to be the solution. And it's very interesting because you, you speak about that. And, you know, we know that Massachusetts just has a textile ban. Right, yes. Right. And yes. So something like that is very helpful. To Absolutely. An area like that where people are trying to figure out what do I do? Yes. You know, so. Precisely. And we, and we know you can go to the planning aid bins. Definitely. There's plenty of planning aid bins in Massachusetts. But it's also nice when you can go to a big area that you're already going to. Absolutely. And, and drop off. Exactly. So, it's just know. easy. It, it, it keeps it um, easy for people to acknowledge where it is. They don't have to leave too far. And while it's also nice to go into a thrift store, and we do have one of those, yeah. um, it's just nice to be able to do that quickly, get your tax receipt either online or with the QR codes that we're developing right now and just go about your day Very quick good. and easy. Very good. Okay. So um, do you find that business owners or organizations have a desire to do these donation centers or have these donation centers for the environmental impact. I mean, what there's for the environmental impact, some companies have sustainable goals as well. Um, and then there's also just the fact of being a good neighbor and providing a resource. And of course, there's also just the fact that we do a lot of wonderful local and international Absolutely. projects. So what has been the bend for this? So I'd say it can be about 50-50. I'd say 50% of the companies we talk to, they're definitely, uh, they love the fact that we do all of this environmental work and social work and they think that that's a great factor. Um, it's nice to align with a company that's doing that. And it's nice when some of these businesses ask us what we do with the clothing, how we fund all these projects, because it just shows that they do care. They're not just wanting to make the monthly or right. yearly rate that we right. sometimes right. can provide. Um, but it has been nice to hear that. It's not always the case. Don't get me wrong. Again, like the next question is very much the bottom line <laughs> because they're big multi-million dollar companies and right. they just make deals. But every, every so often we have the companies that ask all these questions and it's so wonderful and refreshing because mm -hmm. we want to talk about it. We want people to know why we do what we do. We're not just slinging clothes. Right, right, right. <laughs> so yeah, it, when, when those questions are asked, we get delighted because we just want people to get why we do what we do. Okay. Well, yeah. So the next question is about yes. the bottom line. So, <laughs> I yes. mean, tell me about that. Now, you know, businesses are, they're businesses for yes. a reason. They, yes. They want to make sure that their bottom line, you know, is doing the right thing. Yes. So tell me about, you know, what's the reaction to that. Yes. And don't get me wrong. There are companies who do allow us to pay very low rates or nothing at all. Mm -hmm. And we donate five cents per pound to their charity of their choice. Wow, so there great. are groups like that. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, the bigger real estate companies, mm -hmm. they think in terms of square footage. Mm -hmm. We're taking up square footage from their parking lots. Gotcha. We're taking up parking spaces, parking spaces. from their mm -hmm. very expensive tenants. <laughs> so Basically, we pay based on the anchor stores, the traffic, the demographics, all those things associated um, help us come up with the rates that we're able to offer some of these shopping centers. So um, a lot of times with different companies, we'll even do like a bundle deal, a group of different shopping centers with like a rate for the year. And that's nice because we keep them locked in. We keep that partnership going. Um, but yeah, our rates vary state by state, territory by territory. But it's nice to be able to give um, these companies an incentive to work with us. And I, I feel very certain that over time, they'll also be refreshed at how easy it is to work with a group like us who heavily and effectively maintains and monitors their site since we've been doing it for 25 years. It's, it's really nice to see people kind of be like, oh, so we might not have to worry as much about you. And I'm like, yes, give us an opportunity. So, yeah. So. Anything else as far as uh, new business development that you're working on? Because I know that there's, like I said, just so many things clicking right now. Yeah. So what's going on? So one of the things we've discussed that we would like to work on is um, kind of our marketing, advertising, communications efforts for the next year. This past year, we've been working we've been focused so much on working on getting the sites, mm -hmm. and now that again, some of that's coming into fruition. We're now trying to promote further because mm -hmm. since we heard so much, like we didn't even know that you existed or we didn't know what you do. We realize how important it is to put that message out there. So we're, we're discussing going into a few different magazines, some money mailers, some, um, once we place the donation center, sending the zip code, uh, postcards out so that yeah. people know who we are, know where we're at. 
And yeah, a lot of other ideas we have with communications that we'll have to talk about down the line <laughs> because we're just excited. We want to keep the momentum going. So um, yeah, mainly just a lot of marketing efforts and we might hire a few new people, but that's that's to be determined. Very good, very good. It sounds so much, like so much progress. Yes, <laughs> and even there's been talk of adding satellite locations to some of the different territories we already have because there's so many new opportunities coming about that it would only make sense to com continue to capitalize and expand on what we're already doing great at. So very excited about the future. <laughs> wow. So let me ask you this. Um, any more conferences coming up? Any more places that you're going to be that oh, people yeah. can meet you at? Yes. So since New York went so well, um, we've already started to begin planning for Vegas. <laughs> which is in May, and I'm sure we're gonna take more than one person this time, oh, so. Wow. Can I come? Maybe, <laughs> hey, hey girl, let's see. Um, You've got a big, big enough uh, crew. But we're very, we're very excited. We're not sure who all's going or how many people we're taking, but since, again, since New York went really well, we want to have another exhibit booth there. We wanna meet people, we wanna be face to face, we wanna show them what we're about, and we want them to realize that uh, we care about our sites. We care about Planet Aid, we care about the environment, we care about the community, and in order for people to realize that, they have to meet with us. Okay. And sometimes a Zoom or a phone call just doesn't do it, yeah. so mm -hmm. these events are so important for that. Good, good, good. Well, people like to press, press flesh sometimes. Absolutely. You know, to, to, to have that conversation. Absolutely. To realize that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um, tell us how anybody can connect with you as far as like on the website mm -hmm. or, or just email or whatever it is. Yes. Yeah, so if anybody is interested in learning more about the donation centers, um, adopting one for their shopping center. And again, we also do the bins still for any smaller strip centers or other sites that aren't as heavily anchored in bigger shopping centers. Right. Um, you can email me directly at lbailey at planetaid.org. <laughs> and my phone number is 443-827-7057. Um, myself or Uli Stosh, uh, my boss would be happy to help anybody who's interested. We're also working on a, um, a separate page for just the donation centers. Right now, mm -hmm. All this information is online at a drop down specific for the donation centers on planetaid.org. But um, we're working on a way to make that a little bit easier to just go directly to that page. So that's kind of in the works now so that okay. you can automatically access all that information. Very good, very good. Okay. Lauren, this has been so enlightening and it, it just sounds like we're, we're rolling on all cylinders. We're I excited. I, snap I, I like it. We're <laughs> excited. We're going to keep going and keep expanding. It's very fun. It's, yeah. And I'm not going to lie, for a year we've been working really hard at um, meeting with some of these companies and it, has, it hasn't it has been easy because yeah. this is a bigger concept. It's a brand new concept. It's not something that's out there right now um, and it wasn't the easiest to sell starting out. But again, Little seeds do a lot, yeah, and yeah. we're really excited that they're finally planting. We can see those blooming, seedlings. blooming, yeah. <laughs> not planting, <laughs> blooming. <Right. Yes. laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And of course, I'm honored. Definitely want to, you know, keep up with you, and you can come in and tell us a little bit more about what you're doing. Here. Absolutely. I'll definitely keep you posted. Yep. Any way that we can talk, we're down. We're we want to keep promoting. All right. Thanks for watching.